Okay, so I've created a custom function in Excel. Now, let me just click here and click on Insert Function. When I go to my user defined, which is already on, and I go to student grade, there's no help available. It doesn't show me anything about it. When I click on OK, it also doesn't show me anything here. And I can do something about that to have a description in here. I'm also going to turn it into an add-in because that way I can make it more readily available on all of the workbooks that I have. And then I could actually give that to somebody. They could load it up as an add-in as well. And then they could have that readily available as well. So we're going to start off by going to developer here. And first up, I'm just going to put in that description that I want. So I'm just going to click on macros over here. Now, if I had any macros in here, they would be listed in here, with the exception of functions. They don't show. So you need to know the name of the function and see what happens once I start typing this in. I'm going to put in student grade, which is the name of my function. And you'll see it now comes up with these buttons. They're now available. And there's an option here that says options. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put in a description. So this is going to return the student's grade based on the score of their exam result. Something like that. You can put in a lot more than that if you like. Click on OK. So I'm now going to close that. If I now go to my insert function, you now see it's got it here. And if I click on OK, you can see it's got that information there. So now a lot more useful. So now I want to turn it into an add-in. And I can simply do that by going into File, choosing Save As. So I'm just going to click on my Save As type here and choose this one here, which is ending in XLA. That is the Excel add-in. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change this here to call it My Functions and click on Save. So that has now saved it. If I go into Add-ins here on my Developer tab, I can now install it. And you'll see it's got some that are already here, and I can tick those to switch them on, which will give me even more functions than I already have. And these are sort of built in. They kind of come with Excel. So let's go to Browse. There it is. It's gone to the folder that I want, which is very convenient. I'm going to My Functions. I'm just going to click on OK down here. It's ticked. Click on OK. And that is now available on all of my Excel spreadsheets. If I click on Insert Function, you'll see it's here as well. So it's coming up twice because I've made it an add-in, and it's also because that workbook is open. I'm now just going to close this version of Excel, this workbook. So I've closed Excel. I'm now just going to reopen it. So open it here. The macros are not open anywhere on here. I've now got it as an add-in. So if I go into Insert Function and I go to my User Defined, you'll see my student grade is in there. That will happen on any workbook now. I could give that XLA file to somebody else. I could email it to them. They could add it as an add-in, and they will now also have the same functions. So you can create a whole load of functions that might be relevant to your work. Check them, make sure they're working properly, and then you can distribute them around to anyone else that might need them. So that's how you can create an add-in in Excel.